Hi gang. Oh, I sure do miss you all and I hope that you're happy and well. I know that we're all at home now a bit more than we had planned. So I wanted to share a quick small tip for making the most of it. The best thing that you can do is stick to a routine. For me, that's taking care of the important things and then having a plan for the rest of my day. I hope that you find a routine that works for you too. So, it's Stallion Story Time with Mrs. Camberary. The book that I'm sharing today is full of examples of cause and effect. Hey, cause and effect is a lot like a chain reaction. As I read aloud, see if you can find the causes and the resulting effects in the story. You know, the chain reaction in the story. Be sure to stay tuned until the end because I have a little STEM challenge for you, just in case you might have a little extra time on your hands lately. In fact, I bet some of you already know what my challenge might be. The day Jimmy's boa ate the wash. The day Jimmy's boa ate the wash. By Trinka Hakes Noble. Pictures by Stephen Kellogg. And here's a tip for story time. If you want to study the picture a little longer, just pause the video, take a look at the picture, and then press play again if you want to hear the rest of the story. How was your class trip to the farm? Oh, boring, kind of dull, until the cows started crying. A cow crying? Yeah, you see, a haystack fell on her. But a haystack doesn't just fall over. It does if a farmer crashes into it with his tractor. Oh, come on, a farmer wouldn't do that. He would if he were too busy yelling at the pigs to get off of the school bus. What were the pigs doing on the bus? Eating our lunches. Why were they eating your lunches? <laughs> because we threw their corn at each other and they didn't have anything else to eat. Well, that makes sense, but why were you throwing corn? Because we ran out of eggs. Out of eggs? Why were you throwing eggs? Because of the boa constrictor. The boa constrictor? Yeah, Jimmy's pet boa constrictor. What was Jimmy's pet boa constrictor doing on the farm? Oh, he brought it to meet all the farm animals but the chickens didn't like it. You mean he took it into the hen house? Yep, and the chickens started squawking and flying around. Go on, go on, what happened? Well, one hen got excited and laid an egg and it landed on Jenny's head. The hen? No, the egg, and it broke yucky all over his hair. What did she do? She got mad because she thought Tommy threw it. So she threw one at him. What did Tommy do? Oh, he ducked and the egg hit Mary Ann in the face. So she threw one at Jenny, but she missed and hit Jimmy. Who dropped his boa constrictor. Oh, and I know the next thing you knew, everyone was throwing eggs, right? And when you ran out of eggs, you threw the pig's corn, right? Right again. Well, what finally stopped it? We heard the farmer's wife screaming. Why was she screaming? We never found out because Mrs. Stanley made us get on the bus and we sort of left in a hurry without the boa constrictor. I bet Jimmy was sad he left his pet boa constrictor. No, not really. We left in such a hurry that one of the pigs didn't get off the bus. So now he's got a pet pig. So, did you find the chain reaction? 
I know that you happen to have a particular set of chain reaction making skills. Did you know that you could create a chain reaction device in your own home? There are items all around the house that you might use. First, check with your family. You will need to ask them to help you locate the perfect place to build so that your device won't be in the way of dinner or bedtime tonight. Next, check the recycle bin, your own toy box, and possibly even the garage. Again, you will need to check in with the adult in your home before collecting your items. Once you have some materials, sketch out your idea and make a plan to guide you. I would love to see what you create. You are an incredibly creative engineer. If you'd like to save your plan, take a picture or a video and share it with the rest of us when we get back to Stenstrom, try to do that. Remember, be safe, follow directions, and most of all, be kind.